recent research study from the firm Markets and Markets. And mobile devices such as tablets and smartphones will enhance this combination of digital data and the real world. Well, a company called Blipper is a leader in the field and has recently announced a visual search engine app. Ambarash Mitra is the co-founder and the chief executive of Blipper. Thank you very much for being here. Thanks for having me. Can you just, how do you describe augmented reality to people that haven't seen it in action? So augmented reality, the clear definition is when you look at a physical world object and you see it through a computer's lens, which is, could be a phone, and an overlay of information appears on it, that's augmented reality. It doesn't change reality, it enhances reality. It tells you a little more about what you're looking at. An example would be, as you just described, before you came on, you point your phone, your yeah. smartphone, at, let's say, a banana. Yeah. And the augmented reality segment comes up and shows you, while you're looking at this real live picture of a banana, yeah. it can show you how many calories a banana has, uh, and maybe even details about where it comes from. Where you can buy it, recipes associated with coupons, stores selling it. Uh, we almost see that every object in the world is almost like a portal. It has associated information properties about it. And actually people are curious, right? People are curious about so many things. And how search stands today, it's completely driven by your words. And actually as human species, our imagination is much bigger than what comes out of our mouth. So imagine objective search that lets you allow to put your phone on top of anything and gives you additional information. And that's what we're trying to achieve here. If I put my phone on Ambarash Mitra, yeah. and I said, all right, I'm going to blip you, I'm yeah. going to blip it, what would come up? Give us some of the, the short version of starting a business in India and yeah. then going to the UK and now Blipar. So uh, um, I grew up in India, but Blipper is a British business originally. It started in UK and we came over to US pretty soon. Uh, in last three years, when we started this phenomena, we actually started with world's leading brands. So 2,500 brands and 86,000 publishers decided to make the products interactive. And they started calling this behavior blipping. Today, there are more than 6 billion products, 100 million pages of print with the Blipper logo monthly goes out. There are 50 million users on the platform uh, and 250 employees in 10 offices worldwide for us. And, 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 and this is a continual phenomena and we believe with that aggregated data, with 50 million users, we've had billions of interactions on the platform. We created this deep learning system which actually figured out that how are people interacting with all these objects in the real world. There's a need, there's a behavior that people are actually curious. They want to know more. They just, they want to know may, way more beyond the branded objects which were all the advertisers working with us. And it was, it was based on that research we figured out that there is a need for blipping to become the next generation of visual search, which we just launched in South by Southwest. So explain how would someone, how would let's say a developer use the Blipper search engine? So uh, a developer could come and work with us. We have a self-service tool called Blip Builder. It allows people to come in, work on the platform and create their own content. Uh, Blipper is almost like a browser instead of a URL every image is its own domain name. It's like you don't go to www.coca-cola.com, you just go to Coca-Cola. And uh, we feel that is a very different behavior we're driving forward and I anticipate in five years from now there'll be two mainstream behaviors of search. One is a keyword-based search which is already very matured, another is object-oriented search which what we are building. I want to thank you very much. I'm Barish Mitra. He is the co-founder and the chief executive of Flipper. Thanks for taking stock. I'm Pim Fox. Good night. Bloomberg's Taking Stock is brought to you by Interactive Brokers. Stocks, options, futures, forex, and bonds worldwide at lower cost. Visit interactivebrokers.com for more information. I switched firms, by the way. New Bank is paying me $2 million to come over. Well, that $2 million's coming out of your clients' pockets. I'll send them a thank you note. I switched firms, too, actually. Yeah? Where'd you go? I became an independent advisor on the Interactive Brokers platform. <laughs> I get great technology, and I keep all I earn. Aren't you worried about your reputation? <laughs> you don't